Perfect timing. We're on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. We were counting down by seconds. <laughs> and he said, if I press it here, it'll be on. And it was. Perfect timing. It's me and Josh today. We got Josh back from dog sitting. Um, we're going to do fruity for summer. Now, um, I had a saga again with it. Um, it didn't work quite how I wanted it to last night, but it's worked better. So we're making a table mat and it is going to come out like this. That's going to be um, our watermelon. Okay. I wanted to do an orange or a lemon, but we were just discussing the fact that um, an orange would just be orange cream orange. Okay, so you can change it up, or a lime, or what was the other one? A lemon. Okay, but this is a bit more dramatic. So we're doing this one. Um, but before we go on any further, look what's come in today. Look at those. So these are stuff, stuffed toys. Um, you get four toys. You get the giraffe, the elephant, a lion, and um, a zebra. They came in today. We're going to do them as a special 24 hour thing um, that they are £9 a panel. So you get four, four animals for £9. We only have eight of them. Okay. So uh, after today, they'll go up to 12. So you're saving £3. And if you're ordering stuff anyway, then um, that would be the best thing to do is order that. So there you go. How cool is that? So who are we talking to, Josh? We've got Hilary, Sonia, Carol's here, Heather's here. Got lots of people here. 40 people, thank you. <laughs> Have uh, you shut it? I, I did, but it's back up. It was fine. It, it, it did stop recording. <laughs> it's a good job he's here, isn't it? We were talking earlier about his girl and he went all Welshy on me. <laughs> so, right. We are going to be using, I don't know quite what order to do this in, we're going to be using our, um, what did she say, nine degree ruler. Um, some of you have already got this because you bought um, the spiral table runner, you know the Bargello table runner that um, Sarah came up with. Um, we had rulers made, look, with our logo on it. Look at that. How cool is that? So we, um, you've got these and you'll all be thinking, oh, I've got that now. What else am I going to do? You can make fruit placemats. Um, you might also have a Dresden plate ruler, which is more like this. And the, the angles, I'm going to come down now, Josh. Yeah. Um, as you can see, when you put it on, the angles are different. They're, they're um, a lot wider angle. Um, and the video that I was following, they only had 10 segments and I did 10 segments and only got to um, a quarter and I couldn't understand it. And of course I had to get my, my mathematician, Sarah, to um, tell me what was going on. So, um, so she told me that it was the angle. So the angle of me dangle was wrong and I, um, so, but now you know what else to do with your ruler. Okay. Which I thought was quite cool. Okay. So you want a ready pink fabric for the middle. I've used a bumbleberry. I meant to write down the, num the, the numbers of the bumbleberries that I use, but how perfect is that for watermelon? You need a green and you need a creamy colour. All right, now you're all gonna have scraps. I reckon you can make the whole one mat with a fat quarter of this. You probably need a um, fat eight, maybe a fat quarter. If you had a fat quarter of all of them, that would, ha that would work. Okay, so you cut. Are there any questions so far before no. I keep going? Okay. So, you cut two and a half inches of green 
and you also cut, cut a 1.5 inch of green with the fabric would definitely give you a whole watermelon slice okay so you cut those then you're going to cut your white and you're going to cut one and a quarter and inch and a one and three quarter inch okay of your white and then you want a six inch of your fruity color so if you were to do an orange you'd want to exchange that green for an orange and this would be orange as well okay um you're then going to sew them together Ta -da! like that okay i didn't think you'd want me to to watch me doing this bit okay so i've sewn them all together now you can see i've sewn them Yeah, have I've gone and done it wrong again. So I want the small one there. Right, I wondered why I had two of those. Where's my trusty, trusty thing? You're gonna have to watch me cut one of them at least. Where is it? What are we looking for? Um, uh, the other half of that. It would be just like me. I put my finger on it. That's what happens when you work in somebody else's house. You don't know where anything is. Right, okay. So, while I'm doing this, you can, um, you're going to sew your white pieces onto your fruit bit. Ah. Oh, you found it. I got one now. Um, you're going to sew your white pieces onto your fruity bit. And then on the small... I can't get it off now. On the small white fabric one, you're going to put your large green, okay? It'll be all right once I get started. Okay, so you're gonna put your large green onto the small white. And as you can see, I've put a small, <gasps> this one hasn't got a red ball. I've gone and put the, um, two small ones on. That's because I was doing it over in the shop and I was talking. Okay. So it's a good job I brought the bits with me, isn't it? Uh, right. So, any questions so far? I one believe there was one, but I think Mother answered it. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, she did. It was just about using the nine. If you needed a template for the Christmas runner from one of your auctions, I think. Oh right, yeah. Uh, you can get she, them on the, the website. Bar Bargello Christmas yes, table Christmas runner. Christmas Bargello bar table runner. Wow. Yeah. So there we go. Yes, there's a. Uh, if you bought that but not bought the ruler, there is a template in there, so you could use that as well. Okay. Right. So we're going to whiz up this one. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to cut it. Um, right. I think as long as it's all the same, it wouldn't matter what um, what sizes all these bits are. But you want to make sure that the the wider green piece goes on the uh, on the thinner white piece. Okay, um, that was where I went wrong last night. I watched half of the video and said, "Thought, yeah, I can do that," and sewed it all wrong, and then cut it out, and then couldn't work out how it why it wouldn't fit. So I'd already done one half and it wouldn't fit and I was a bit, a bit miffed. Okay, so we're going like this. Now, I'm going to shut it out like that. Okay. 
Mother just said, why am I being formally named? I always call you, I always call mother, mother to mother. other people. Yes. And she's mum to mum when I'm talking to her. Everyone else is mother. I always try to teach mine to say mummy darling. It never worked. I quite like mama. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mother was grandma um, to my kids. Um, that's what we started with, Grandma, and then she became G1, <laughs> and my dad was G2. Do you remember right. she was so hip? She is. She's mega hip, my mother. <laughs> oh. I'm going to get rid of these. Josh did say, do you want those? Oh, right, okay. Now, how to explain this. You want to cut them by putting your ruler, whichever ruler you're using, you want to butt the end of it up to the, white, the bottom white line. So the, um, the wedge is going up with green at the top, okay? So you're gonna cut round that. I see, I've got a, I should have bought my circular one doing this like that and then we're going to cut there have I done it no not quite okay you're going to do that I'm going to turn the ruler around and you're going to can you see where the edge is now so you can chop that bit off I'm trying really hard to do it without turning the fabric round but I can't <laughs> can't it can it right so we need the bit up there right okay so you want to make sure that it butts up to the white if you do it by mistake and you bring it down you're going to have a wider bit up the top but at least then you can you can trim it okay so we're going to go up like that So you've got, you can see, you've got, these are going to marry up like that. You're going to have to trim it afterwards. Okay, so it gives you a segment. So we'll do that again. We're going to put our ruler up to the line that you've just cut. Okay, so you can cut that off. I turned it round. I think if I have it that way, can I do all of them that way round? I like to try and find the simplest way of doing stuff, but half the time I make it really difficult for myself. Right, okay, so you're going up that line like that. There. And then we turn it round. Ah, see, got it right now. Turn it round, butt it up to the edge that you've just cut, and along the bottom line, and up we go. Okay. Have you all got that so far? I yeah. believe so. Uh, Mary you? says you you should have a turntable cutting board. Yeah, I've got one at home. Um, and yes, it would have been better to bring that, but then that meant it was another thing to carry. And I already carried a ton of stuff to work. I use it as bodybuilding, my bag. Okay, so I think that's enough to show you for now. All right. Okay, so we've got these. So you're going to um, lay them out. So you want to go thin white line, thick white line. Okay, and we're lining up the white line. All right, and then line up a thick there, and then we've got two thins. Okay. 
okay like that all right so you can see it's already starting to look like a watermelon which i think is quite clever very clever it is see so we're now going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew them together so you're going to line up hang on. going to line up the bottom now because you're if you iron if you iron all of your seams the same way right when you're ironing it so that on the back they're all ironed see my all mine iron to my right okay um you'll find that when you butt them up together because the only seam that's going to meet is your um, white and melon seam, okay? So by doing all your seams, ironing them all the same way, uh, they'll butt up together, which is really cool. You don't have to do anything extra to them then. And you just sew them down. Okay. And by doing that, you'll realise if you happen to pick up, like I would probably do, um, pick up two large greens, then uh, you would find that they don't butt up together. So you could chain piece these now, always put in the large one on the one side. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, so... You butt them up again, you take the next one and you butt that up, okay? And you just keep going until you run out of segments. I would um, put them down after you've done a few, lie them down and iron them out and see how big it's got to. All you want is a semicircle. to try the trick i've seen people they sew with a um as they sew they use the, the the pick to hold things down i always get my finger trapped under it okay any questions so far josh no i believe everyone's following along nicely cool oh. we tend to over explain okay which way are we going I do like them to all run the same way. So, oh, this is bloody typical of me. Right, so yeah, I'm ironing it the right way. So I'm gonna iron. There is no real dark side and light side. So. If you start your fabric and iron it before you start, you'll find them a lot easier to go together as well. Okay, so I'm going to take the segment that I already have. Okay, now I've actually done small one, large one, small one, large one. So we're going to have to put it on this end. All right, like that. Okay, so I'm going to butt these up. But, but, it's a very Welsh thing, isn't it? Butt these up, but. Sorry. Um, right. What else can I tell you is going on in the in the thing? Oh, I got more rulers to show you. Um, I had a, a delivery today. We've had a delivery of our two and a half by seventeen and a half rulers from um, Crafty UK. They're so handy. I mean, <clears throat> invariably you're cutting a two and a half inch strip for things. You know we talk about the shape cut but the shape cut is is quite a difficult um item to to store unless you make your um ruler hanger that we did um i think it fits in that you know i haven't even tried that should be 12 and a half is fit. yeah it should fit in that um so you could uh hang them in there but i find i use 
because you're not dealing with so much ruler sometimes the ruler is too big does that make sense it gets in the way to an array of rulers so there we are we've got the segment okay I would keep going until it actually sorry am I is that right I try and aim for the the target in the middle but I you know you would keep going until it got to the end now I think if you used the um if you used the wider bit for cutting so that you had wider segments you you might use less that would be mathematically right wouldn't it yeah, I imagine you would, you... Use, you would use less. I reckon you're going to need 21 of these segments. Um, the video that I was following, they used must have been the Dresden, the wider, you know, the, the steeper thing. Um, and they only used 10 segments. So, whatever thing you've got, I would work out your ruler. This is a nine degree ruler. Okay. Um, that's about as big as I would uh, ride a bike up, I think, about nine degrees. So we're now going to trim it off. Now, I'm a big one for freehand on something like this, having cut so many of those um, pillows, the, you know, the big giant floor pillows. That's not quite right, but we'll cut it down again afterwards now we're going to put this on um, on here you get some wadding and some backing fabric now i forgot <coughs> to bring backing fabric so what you would do is you put this on your back uh, on your wadding back in fabric you would get uh where's the Right. Come up here. Come up here. Have you seen? You've seen all seen these rulers, haven't you? These are the uh, June Taylor uh, Simply Circle rulers. Now you're going to need something like this, but I have these from Andy. We bring all sorts of things. So these oh. are twelve pound. And these are circles, okay? So you get a tiny one inch circle. Now I'm fed up of going around looking for the right size plate or cup for whatever circle I'm going to draw. So this one starts with a one, one, um, one inch circle. Do you want to come down, down again now? Um, starts with a one inch circle, you get a two, and then you go up to a three, a four and a five so you go up to five inches now if you want a set of these we can order these for you or you can go straight to crafty uk these are um 12 pound i think he said yeah 12 pound look or you can go mad like i did and get a whole array look at this this is this makes me very happy how I'm going to keep them all together, I don't know. I think I've got that upside down. Hang on. There we go. See, Crafty UK is the right way around now. Okay, they're really well made. And they've all got the little stickers on the bottom. Joe puts them on. Slave labour. And they don't move then. Okay, I'm really shoving that. And that's hardly moving. So that starts at a 1 and goes up to an 11. I no longer have to go and find a plate. And these are £25, okay? It's going to be worth every penny, that is. So you're going to need um, one of these. It doesn't matter which, which rulers you use, okay? You're going to want to... I like the fact that they all come together. You're going to need to find a ruler that fits in there or a plate there we go that will do so you're going to you only need a half circle 
right so if you're making a load of them use a circle cut it out and you're just going to cut it out of this so we would place this on there like that okay and I would draw around it no I wouldn't I'm lying I wouldn't draw around it at all I would cut it badly Go. Any questions there, Josh? Uh, Anne says she loves your rulers. They're lush, aren't they? Sandra says they would be ideal for making a Suffolk puff Christmas tree. <gasps> yeah, those Suffolk pucks, puck, Suffolk puff puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Say that when you're drunk. Um, that Sarah made the other day. They're lush. So I would put this on there. Okay, I would probably put it so that it only just covered and you're going to cover more there you could then zigzag along there or um you could needle turn it sarah would be the one to show you how to needle turn um so you would then put that on okay put your backing on would you sew that on first no, I'd probably put that on once I've put this on, but I'd probably put it on before the backing. So let's pin My that mother in says I like the uh, I like a little rotary cutter for cutting circles, the yes. twenty eight millimeter ones. Yes, I would use that at home. Um, right, let's have a look and see what it would. We go with a uh, one of those. No, we want to go there and there. She also says she'd bag it out. You'd bag it out? Oh, I would, um, I'm going to, uh, what's it called? Um, I was going to quilt. Is there any, um, check here. I would probably find the right thread, okay? So we're doing it ad hoc here. So I'm just doing a zigzag around this. She says, save binding a curve. Save binding a curve. Ah, see, now I, I don't mind doing that. You'd probably have to do it in a bias and that makes, takes more fabric. This is true. So, but would you bag it out and then quilt it, or would you quilt it now? See, all these questions, all these dilemmas. Right, so I've done a zigzag round, round this to hold it on. Um, it would look, if you did it in the, uh, a, you could do a bigger zigzag in the same colour going round. Now if I was going to quilt it, bag it then quilt it. She'd bag it then quilt it. Bag it then okay. quilt it. Um, unfortunately I forgot to bring fabric over. There is fabric here but I'm not sure whether um, whether I can use it or whether it's uh, ready for Sarah's projects. Right, so if I was going to quilt it, I would quilt up um up here i think you know, you could you could go round if you went up up there round here down up you know you could just follow some of the lines going up and down or just go straight up and across you could go up along down I don't know is there a, is there actually a thing anyway that's what i would do and you would bind it mov says don't touch it yeah that's what i figured i've picked it up and put it down <laughs> uh carol says she's new to quilting what does bag it out mean bag it out right you would um 
cut out this now M imagine that this now goes all the way down to here okay all these would go until you get to there all right that's the idea is to get to there i didn't realize it would have taken so few to carry on otherwise i'd have finished it for you um so that you get the segment that's what we're aiming for is that segment you would then take um a piece of um whatever you're going to put on the back and you would lay it over so, so you would take your, your your backing piece and lay it over all right and then you would sew around so you've cut this i would cut these out and then i would sew it onto the back you would leave a gap for turning out you want to put your fleece down first then you're going to put your uh, piece to piece face up on top of the, the wadding then you're going to take your backing and put it face down so that they're right sides together you're going to sew all the way around but leave a gap I would leave a gap in the straight bit because they're a lot easier to sew together and iron and stuff so you would start here sew all the way round and finish there and turn it through then I would top stitch then all the way around now if I'd have had all the fabric at home I would have finished one for you and shown you um, if you're going to bind it you would take your binding and I would probably for this one I might use I, I think the bagging out idea is pretty good because you're going to get less of a, a lip for binding you can either use the one that we use for quilting um, and you just it's a single fold and then you sew it on the front okay now you probably do this one in this color wouldn't you so I would bind you would sew it there and then flip it over and sew on the back okay so that you would have your fruit on the bottom and your uh, green on the top now because you go in with a curve we got that thing stuck today because you go in with a curve you would I would I would advise that you use bias okay so bias is cutting at a 45 degree angle out of a, a fat quarter you would um, line it up I'm sure we've done bias if not, we can do that. I can do that next Thursday with you. Um, we, uh, because you're going on a curve, you want there to be a bit of stretch. So you would bias it because there's more stretch in the fabric then. Um, if I do bias on Thursday, uh, I was going to do twin needles, but I'll do bias as well. I'll finish this and we can bias. I'll cut the bias ready to go around the top. Okay, and then you can see this finished as well. Sorry, Murph says we've done a bias uh, tutorial. You've done a bias tutorial. Can do a refresh though, if we you want. We could do. We could finish it off. Um, we're going to do twin needles. We could twin needle it. I think. Um, we could. I could decorate it with a twin needle for you. Um, are there any questions? Have I no. missed a bit? No. no, I think everyone's following along right now. I've got no questions right See, now. See, they're all they're all gobsmacked with all the rulers. That's what it is. Yeah. We're just so good at this. That's the well, problem. That's it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we just ace. You ask questions. Sarah's obviously not any good at teaching <laughs> because you always get lots of questions. Um, so to to go over it, you want a two and a half. I've lost me. I lost my piece of paper now. Jean says she would like to see twin needles. Twin needles, yeah. yeah. I, I saw it the other day and thought, oh, 
that's something we could talk about. Everybody gets a twin needle in their um, in their kit. Have you ever used it? Has anybody ever used it? <laughs> Jenny says never dares to use them. <laughs> well, this is it because you look at it and you think, oh, I don't know how to do that. So we're gonna we're gonna go through it together. <laughs> Mother says I am watching the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> right. To reiterate, to do the this um, melon. You want a two and a half inch green, a one and a quarter inch white, six inch fruit, whatever fruit you're doing. Then you want a uh, one and a quarter, three quarters inch of the white, and and then one and a half inch of the green. All right. You need a wedge ruler, wedge template. You could probably find one on the internet if need be, but these, they're perfect. You could even smack kids with it. Um, not that I have any kids left. Um, Sorry, we, we can give them to Rory, he's got a new we kid. We could give it to Rory. He's yeah. got a new kid. <laughs> well, yeah, he's going to need discipline in, in, in about, oof, I don't know, five years. Right, okay. So you would then cut it in the wedges and then you would want to buy, if you're going to bind it, then you would want a two and a half inch binding in the fruit and the green. I think you could probably get away with just a straight binding if you wanted to, but I would bias it. Because um, I'm biased. Uh, but as Sarah pointed out, you could bag it. And I think if you're going to bag it, iron it well, top stitch it, it will uh, sit better as a placemat, I think, personally. If you wanted it for putting hot plates on, you could put insulated wadding in. There's a tip for you. Right, I've run out of wittering. Uh, if you're interested in the rubies, give us a ring and we will uh, put in an order. The, the crafty UK ones, we can put in an order for you. Or you can uh, go straight to the Crafty UK. They've got loads of rulers, loads and loads of templates and that. Maybe we should get him to send us some more and we'll go through them. There's a lovely Westie one. Maybe Sarah can go through the Westie one with you. Um, we've got Storm at Sea. We still have some Storm at Sea in, in the, um, the templates in the shop if you're interested. Um, I'm trying to think what other rulers they do. They do all sorts. I mean, the man's a genius. Right, okay, I'm off. I'm on her chanda on Saturday at 10 o'clock. Um, Sarah's back on Monday. I've no idea what we're going to do because we haven't discussed it, but I'm doing twin needles on. Oh, we were doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, I think. We discussed it. We might not be here Thursday. It might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Okay. Um, and we'll talk to you next week. All right. See you. Bye.